Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Guns and Powder for Bannerlord 1.1.0. I haven't tried 1.1.1 or 1.1.2. So uh, as you can see, my, I did reset my OBS settings, so I did reset my computer, so my settings for my audio might be off. But let's continue and let me know down in the comments down below. So there's two ways to install this mod, one through Steam Workshop and one down uh, manually. So this mod does not require any other mods, this is just a base mod. You want to go to Mod Nexus here, search up Guns and Powder under Bannerlord. It also can be found in Mods and Total Conversions. What you want to do is go to Files here, and there's two versions here, Multiplayer and Single Player. What you want to do is download Single Player if you want for Single Player. So while that's downloading, we're going to do a few, few things here. Once again, we're going to go to Bannerlord that you have installed. We're going to go to Properties. We're going to go to Betas and select a 1.1.0. And if you, if you want to test, you can select these two options here. But as of right now, I can confirm 1.1.0 works. Once that's done downloading, make sure you go to your local files and verify the integrity of your files. This will ensure that the download you have is correct. So next, you're going to have, let's see if I have this file somewhere. There we are. This file here. What you're going to want to do here, go to properties, unblock, apply, and then OK. I do have 7-zip installed, so I'll be using that, but you can also use extract all. I'll be using 7-zip, so once again, I'm going to extract the files, and it will take a few seconds to extract just because this is a 1 gig file through uh, Nexus Mods. Okay. As you can see here, I have the mod downloaded, and we have it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click back on Bannerlord Properties. We're going to go to Local Files, Browse. Now that's going to open up Bannerlord. So what we want to do is go to Modules, open this up, and now drag Guns and Powder Single Player into here. That should be the mod installed. For those who want to use the workshop, you can use Workshop, go to Workshop here, and it says Guns and Powder. So what you want to do is just search Guns and Powder. There's two options here. Gun and Powder, is this is the multiplayer one here, and Guns and Powder World uh, Caledria Edition. It's the single player. If you want multiplayer, you can just click here. So once you have the single player uh, downloaded, let's just launch the game. Once, as you can see, I have Guns and Powder here. That's Steam. This is the manual install. It should make no difference. Just obviously don't download both. Just choose one. So I'm doing the Steam Workshop version. And there's nothing else enabled. No other mods. No worry about mod order. Just the Tail Worlds modules. And because it's my first time running OBS here with the settings, I don't know if this is going to be disgustingly loud. So let's hope for hope for the best. Okay, yeah, so it's a, bit, it's a bit tad loud. Let's just drag that down a little bit. So what we're going to want to do... Actually, let me just turn down the audio here. So what we're going to do is go to Sandbox, and we're going to show you that it actually works. Uh, I will say this does require a little bit of loading once you get into for some of the assets, just because they are new assets. So we're just going to go Empire, and we're quickly just going to uh, quickly go through so we can load. Once again, we're running around, showing that it works. And if we click N, we can go to Troops. We have the option for United Kingdom. If I sort by tier, we can have, like, say, British Highland Officer. And the assets will load, as you can see here proving that this mod does work. Once again, if you have any comments or concerns, leave a comment down below or join the community Discord. Stay tuned and enjoy.